Hi, I'm Daniel on the Sleep Physician, and if you saw me, this channel is for you. Really excited to talk to you about sleep envy today, about how you have to stop comparing yourself and your sleep to others in order for you to sleep amazing. Hi there, I am really excited to have you back here and new to the channel, big welcome to you. We're gonna, we're gonna read a passage from an email from Ellen. And by the way, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make a whole episode about this email because it tells how she's like doing fantastic. I'm super excited. We're gonna contrast that in the episode pod like episode that's coming up uh, later today with how she was doing just a few weeks ago. A lot to learn from her journey. Now, but let, let's just jump into a, a paragraph here that I'm gonna read and then I'm gonna talk about this thing that, that's been on my mind for a while called Sleep Envy. So reading this email from yesterday, I'm no longer angry at everyone and everything. I was angry that my husband can sleep. I was angry that people weren't giving me the secrets for sleeping, forgetting that it just happens naturally and there is no secret. I was angry and jealous when, I, when a movie or TV showed people sleeping. I was even mad at the sun for not giving me the adequate sunshine to set my circadian rhythms. Clearly, Ellen had a lot of like frustration and, and anger. And what I, you know, a lot of this is what I now have started to think of as sleep envy. You know, a lot of my patients, a lot of people that I interact with from the channel here, describe that, you know, this other person just goes to bed, head to the pillow, and they're out. And like, why can't I be like that, you know? And, and so there's this sleep envy. Now, there are, there are multiple problems with sleep envy. Like, one obvious one is that uh, it brings, it's, it again brings attention to sleep. Like, you're thinking about how other people sleep. And the more attention we give insomnia, the stronger it gets. But here, I think, is the main point, and, and it's, in, in Ellen's, uh, it's in Ellen's paragraph here too, which is the following. That person that you are so envious about, that person who just goes to bed, falls asleep, and sleeps the whole night, you know what they are doing? Nothing. That person is not spending a fraction of a second questioning whether they will sleep. They are not doing anything like taking a supplement or like putting on a, you know, soothing sounds or rain sounds. They're not doing anything to try to sleep. It is the complete lack of effort, the complete lack of preoccupation, the complete absence of attention towards sleep that is making them sleep so well. So that just highlights how your sleep envy is driving your insomnia, you know? And it's just, sleep envy is just one way of like giving attention to insomnia and sleep, but it is a big one. And the final little insight here is that, you know, you may know somebody that sleeps fantastic, you know? Uh, but even that person doesn't, does not, you know, never wake up, for example. Like they, everybody wakes up here and there. It's just like, a lot of people just don't remember it. And if you look on a more like, look big picture, when you forget about that one person you know, big picture, I've said this many times, but I'm gonna repeat it again. Most people, when, when you actually objectively check it, sleep about six hours and overestimate an hour. Most people think they sleep seven hours, but in reality just sleep six. And all people wake up multiple times. Uh, most people just don't remember it. And uh, so I hope you took something away from this little video and, um, two other episodes coming out today. I'm just gonna record it today. One is a uh, follow-up to Ellen, and another one is a long conversation that I have with um, uh, somebody I'm gonna call Apple. More on that later. If you have any questions, comments, please leave a comment here or send me an email. I love getting emails. Insomnia, uh, what am I doing? Daniel at insomniainsight.co. Take care.